So have you ever felt your phone is powerful, but you're only using 30% of what it can actually do? So you scroll, you message, you watch videos, but deep inside, you know your Samsung Galaxy can do way more. And that's a crazy part. So Samsung quietly hides some of the smartest, most useful features inside your phone, features that can save you time, make your phone feel brand new, and even help you create better content. So before we start, thank you so much for 300 likes on the last video. That support honestly means everything. So let's do it again. Let's try to hit 300 likes on this video and make sure to share this video with your friends, family, because if they own a Samsung, they need to see this. All right, let's unlock seven Samsung Galaxy features that will completely change how you use your phone. So feature number one is where you can drag and drop images from gallery to any messaging app. So imagine this, you're in the middle of a conversation on WhatsApp, Instagram DMs, Telegram, or messages, and you suddenly remember a photo you already have saved in gallery. Normally, you'll have to go into attach, go into gallery, and then go ahead and find that image and then send it off. But on Samsung Galaxy, there's a faster and a smarter way. You can go ahead and open up gallery, go ahead and find the image that you wanna share, for example, this one here, long press on it and hold it, then go ahead and drag it with your second finger, go home and then open a WhatsApp and then go ahead and drop it on the conversation you're having. Now go ahead and tap on next and that image has been sent. So you can go ahead and drag it directly into any messaging apps using split screen, recent apps, or just going ahead and opening the app itself. So no menus, no extra steps, just drag and drop. So this works across multiple apps, not just Samsung messages. It works on WhatsApp, Samsung, Instagram, and many more. So you share photo instantly without browsing attachment, it works with WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, Messenger, and more. It saves time during fast conversation, making your multitasking feel more smooth and powerful, and it turns your phone into a true productivity tool. So once you start drag and drop sharing, it feels like your phone is reading your mind. Now, feature number two is your dynamic color wallpaper for your lock screen and home screen. So you unlock your phone hundreds of times a day, so why look at the same boring wallpaper? So Samsung allows dynamic color wallpaper that adapts and change based on the time, theme, or the lighting. So your lock screen and your home screen feel like they're alive, not just static. So let me show you how you can do this. So here on your home screen, go ahead and long press on empty space, tap on wallpaper and style. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on change wallpaper. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll find colors. And here we're finding the dynamic options. So one, you have a gradient version, and the second one is where you have a blob of color in the middle, and it basically gradually changes to another color. So we'll go ahead and choose the gradient version. And here we can go ahead and choose if you want lock screen or home screen. Let's go ahead and choose only for lock screen here. We'll tap on next. Now we can go ahead and choose the style. So you can go ahead and have this style, that style, this style. Now once you're happy, go ahead and press done. And now that change has been applied. Let's say you wanna go ahead and apply a color gradient wallpaper to your home screen as well. So you can go ahead and tap on change wallpaper again, scroll down, find colors, and let's go ahead and add the blob version of color gradient. Let's go ahead and add the blob version of the dynamic wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and choose home screen for that, press next. We'll go ahead and choose a style, and then press done. Now we'll press home, and then now this color gradient wallpaper will change throughout the day. So your phone feels fresh every time you unlock it. System colors match the wallpapers automatically. It adds a premium flagship feel and it makes your phone visually unique. So it's a small detail, but it completely changes the experience. Feature number three is where you can turn on group alarms from your home screen. So let's talk mornings. So you got alarms for workday, different alarms for weekend, maybe even backup alarms. And now since school has started, you need alarm for your kids. So instead of turning them on one by one, Samsung lets you create group alarms and control them right from your home screen using a widget. So one tap and everything is set. So first, let me go ahead and show you how to set a group alarm. Then I'll show you how to set a widget so that you can switch it on with one tap. So here we'll tap on clock and then we'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign. We'll go ahead and create an alarm. So let's just say test. We'll go ahead and just select random days, six o'clock. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll see alarm groups. So let's go ahead and create new one here. So let's just put down YouTube, create. So that's one done, save that. So as you can see, I have created a YouTube group here. Now let's say I want to go ahead and add more to this. So another one at six 
05 again all these days and then I'll press save again. So now once that's done, I have two alarms set over here. So now you wanna go ahead and set a widget on your home screen so that you can go ahead and switch it on with one tap. So to do this, we'll press home. Now we'll go ahead and long press on our home screen, tap on widgets. Now we'll go ahead and find the clock widget and then we'll find the alarm widget. So let's go ahead and add a two by two one. Now here we'll go ahead and tap on it to set it. We'll go ahead and select the alarm. And as you can see, this is a YouTube alarm. So now that's done, we'll press home. Now to set the alarm, we can go ahead and open that page where the widget is to set it, go ahead and tap on it, and that will switch on that group alarm. So no opening the clock app, it saves time every single day, and this is perfect for routines and schedules, so you have less stress in the night. So this is one of those features you don't realize you need it until you use it. Now feature number four is where you can unlock 120 FPS in 4K video recording. So your Samsung Galaxy isn't just a phone, it's a camera powerhouse. So on supported models, you can record 4K video at 120 frames per second, giving you insanely smooth footage and cinematic slow motion. So this is something people normally expect from a professional camera. So here's an example. If you go ahead and open up the camera app, go into your video recording mode, and when you go ahead and look at your settings, so UHD is 4K, and as you can see, it's only limited to 60 frames. Now you're thinking, how will you get 120 frames? Well, you can get 120 frames by going into another mode. So this mode is called the Pro Video Mode. So in order to get the Pro Video Mode, you wanna go ahead and swipe over to More. From here, find the Pro Video Mode, which is right here. Tap on this. So this will now change the overlay to a more pro version. So you get all these different overlays. So you get your ISO, shutter speed, your EV, your autofocus, white balance. You've got ultra wide and wide. Now to switch this over to 4K 120 frames per second, you need to go ahead and find your settings right here, UHD, tap on this. And here you can go ahead and choose all these different options. So to get 4K, you need to go ahead and switch to UHD. Next, you can go ahead and choose all your different FPS. So we're looking for 120 FPS. So this is it. Tap on it. And now this will basically record with the high frame rate of 120 frames per second. Now you can go ahead and tap on record and you can go ahead and record 120 frames per second footage. And then that'll be useful for slowing it down in post-production. So you get ultra smooth video quality, professional level slow motion, this is perfect for action shots and cinematic clips, and it turns your phone into a content creation tool. So if you love recording, even casually, this is a game changer. Now, feature number five is where you can add custom text to your home screen. So your phone is personal, so why shouldn't your home screen be? So Samsung's DIY home screen tool lets you add custom text anywhere on your home screen. It can be quotes, reminders, affirmations, or even your name. So it's not just decoration, it's intentional. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up your Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find Home Up. Make sure it's switched on and then tap on Home Screen. From here, find DIY Home Screen. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Tap on it. And here you wanna go ahead and just press Reset for now so that it all starts from fresh. Now tap on Home. Now you wanna go ahead and find the page where you wanna write your text there. So, so for example, this one here, we'll go ahead and long press on this. Then we'll tap on DIY at the top right. Now we'll go ahead and start editing this. So first we'll go ahead and tap on this emoji icon here. Next we'll go ahead and swipe left until you see the T icon. Now we'll go ahead and choose what kind of font we require. So I'll just go ahead and choose this. Now I can go ahead and tap on it to write something. So I'll just put down so have a nice day. Let's go ahead and increase this. Let's go ahead and change the font around, change the color. We can go ahead and play around with the transparency. So now we have a text on our home screen. Now, if you don't like what fonts you're seeing here, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign here on this menu, and you can go ahead and download all these different fonts. So let's just say I'll download this snowy font. However, there is a price to it. You can go ahead and tap on the top free here and download free fonts. 
So let's just go ahead and download this Rosemary, install that. We'll go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and use that. So tap on DIY, tap on this text. We'll go ahead and use the Rosemary. So now once that's done, go ahead and press home. And now your text has been set on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you've added a custom text to your home screen. So this gives you full creative control. You have motivational reminders every time you unlock your phone. With this, you don't need a third party launcher. It's all good lock app. So it's part of the Samsung suite. So your phone stops looking generic and starts feeling more personal. Now feature number six is where you can get a floating volume button. So we've all been there trying to adjust volume while watching a video, gaming, or control using one hand. So with the Good Luck app, Samsung lets you enable a floating volume button that stays on the screen and follows you anywhere on screen. So no physical buttons required. Also, this is great if your physical button for your volume has been damaged or they're not working. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, go ahead and open up the Good Luck app. And now in the Good Luck app, scroll down and find Sound Assistant. Now from here, tap on Customize Volume Panel. Tap on this, go ahead and switch this on and then tap on Custom. Now here you need to go ahead and find Floating Button. To see a floating volume button, go ahead and tap on the Floating Button. You'll see this button right here. So now that's done, press Home. And now as you can see, this floating button is right here. You can go ahead and move it anywhere you like. So now to access your volume control, go ahead and tap on that floating button and then go ahead and control it with your finger by taking it up to increase the volume and taking it down to decrease the volume. Once done, press anywhere on screen and that floating button will stay wherever you place it. So it's a one hand friendly, less wear on hardware buttons. You have faster volume control. It's cleaner and smarter interaction. So it's one of those features that once you enable it, you'll never turn it off. Now the last feature, which is feature number seven is where you can record front and back cameras at the same time. So this is called dual recording. So this one is huge, especially for creators. So Samsung allows dual recording means you can record what you're seeing and your reaction at the same time. So this is perfect for vlogs, reactions, travel videos, and tutorials. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So now to turn on dual recording mode, you wanna go ahead and tap on your camera app. Now from here, you wanna find more, tap on this, and then find dual recording mode, which is right here. So it looks like this. Go ahead and tap on this. And this will basically show you the back camera and your rear camera. So as you can see, my front camera is also being active here and my rear camera is active as well. So now I can go ahead and place this anywhere I like and go ahead and start recording. You can go ahead and make this smaller by tapping on this icon here. Or you can go ahead and just minimize this so it doesn't show up on screen. Next, you can go ahead and tap on this and choose different lenses. So you've got the front and you've got ultra wide, wide and telephoto. So go ahead and choose what you like. You can go ahead and show two back cameras, one wide and one ultra, or you can go ahead and choose telephoto and front. So as you can see, both of these cameras are active. One's a wide and one's a telephoto. We'll go ahead and return to wide and the front. And here you can go ahead and choose your settings. So you've got full HD 30. You can go ahead and choose your exposure. So you can go ahead and choose to save videos in separate files or one video where you have this both in one video here. You can go ahead and choose a split screen view, picture in picture view. If you tap on settings, you'll be able to go into settings for this dual recording mode. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and tap on record and record whatever you like. So this way you can capture moments and reactions together. This is perfect for YouTube, Reels and TikTok. So no external apps is needed and your storytelling becomes more engaging. So your content instantly feels more human and more immersive. And there you have it. Seven powerful Samsung Galaxy features that most people are still not using. So if you learned something new today, hit that like button. Let's get this video to 300 likes, just like the last one. Make sure to share this video with your friends and family, especially if they own a Samsung phone, because they're missing out. And if you want more Samsung tips, hidden features and smart tricks, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.